Thank you for joining me for today's webinar, Advanced Web Test Settings. Over the next 15 minutes or so, I'll be walking you through a brief overview of web test settings available to you upon assigning a web test to your section. If you happen to have any questions throughout my session, please feel free to chat those into the Q&A box located at the bottom center of Zoom, and I'll be sure to reserve some time at the end to address your questions. And with that, I'll go ahead and get started. My name is Kate and I'm on the training and support team at Hawks Learning. The purpose of today's training is to familiarize you with the extensive settings available for web tests. As a reminder, the web test assignment builder tool can be used to create tests, quizzes, final exams, additional assignments, diagnostic tests, and more. I wanna to start today by navigating to an example web test and please keep in mind that the settings we'll cover are only applicable when a web test is assigned online. We'll start with general settings. General settings are the most important settings for your web test. This is where you will select your start and end dates and times, set your test length and categorize the web test into the appropriate assignment group. You can also password protect the test, allow multiple or unlimited attempts, and select how those are graded, including making the test a bonus assignment. You can control the visibility of when a test is seen on the student dashboard. And you can also allow for late submissions. Next, we'll take a look at the student settings by test. Save our changes. The student settings by test are student specific settings for the test. For example, if a student is sick on the day of the test and needs to take it on another day, you can easily make an exception for that student for that specific test. You can also increase the test length with students that need any accommodations or provide individual students with, with additional attempts. Below that, We'll navigate to prerequisites. This will allow you to make any lesson or web test a prerequisite for the web test. You can even set a minimum pass rate for any web test that you designate as a prereq. This setting helps ensure students are working through all of the required course materials and are mastering content on a per topic level so that they are adequately prepared for upcoming tests and assessments. Additional settings allow you further customization, so you can choose when to release grades or when a student can review a test. You can also select to give automatic or partial, give automatic partial or full credit on answers that are not simplified. For example, if a student answers four, four eighths instead of one half, you can select to give 50% credit. We are proud to partner with Respondus Lockdown Browser. You can enable that requirement by checking this box here. You can further secure the testing environment um, using Respondus Lockdown Browser. Um, this secures the testing environment so that no other applications or website set, websites can be accessed while testing. And this also restricts students from the ability to capture, print, or right-click from their mouse. We recommend that you share our download directions with your students prior to the test time so that they can download the program to their computer in advance. If your students are testing in a lab, your school IT department can install the lab version for you. You can also make the test a pass-fail and designate the passing grade. We also have a diagnostic test option, which is a great setting to use if you're interested in creating pre-tests. This allows you to denote a particular level of proficiency. And as you can see, by default, it is 80%, but this can be adjusted. For any lesson on the test where a student scores at or above this level of proficiency, the student is automatically given credit for having certified in that lesson. 
So it will identify for students the topics that they already know, give them credit for those topics, and allow them to spend their time focusing on those topics where they may have some deficiencies. This option seamlessly creates a customized learning path so that each student has the opportunity to accelerate faster through the course content depending on their foundational understanding of the material. For the manage IP template settings, this is an additional security setting. Change it here. So in addition to password protection and Respondus Lockdown Browser, you can further provide security for your test by utilizing the IP address restriction settings. Here you can enter our IP address, um, enter IP address ranges for a set of computers so that students can only access a web test from one of those computers, for instance, a computer lab or on campus. Going back to our main web test page, which we get to from navigating from assignments to web tests, you can also choose to copy the settings that you have set for one test to any of your other exams. To do so, you would just select the test that you want the settings copied from, select copy settings, and which test you want it to be settings, the settings copied from, and then select the copy settings. So once your test is created and you are ready to assign it to your section, you can do so by selecting the test, assign, selecting the sections that you want it assigned to, and then selecting assign. And this is also how you can unassign a test. If you unassign a web test after students have taken the test, you will lose the ability to review their test attempts. So please contact us directly if you'd like to discuss individualized options for editing web test content once students have begun taking it. So I hope this overview has helped you as you create and assign your own web tests. And I've reserved a little bit of time to answer any questions if there are any posted in the Q&A. But thank you for joining us today and I wish you the best this semester. Thank you very much.